trouble in Igbo land. These facts will thrill you after listening. There is too much trouble in Igbo land. We must rise up to defend our land from the enemies within. First, why was William Obiano Peter Obi's favored successor after he ruled Anambra State for an unprecedented eight years? Why did Oji Kalu consider Dodaro Oji the best man to lead Abia State in 2007? Was he fine? Ogwai, the best man, Soliva Chime, would have favored to succeed him in 2015? Was the interest of Abia public considered in 2015 when the Odera Oji went above, the, above and beyond the call of duty to rig the Goba election for the Bubed Okeze Epeazu? Why are Igbo leaders wicked to the land? Why does selfishness always override the interests of the generation of general public? Why did Okorocha Rocha turn against the very people that braved all odds, fight monsters and spirits to elect him in 2011? In the past 20 years of democracy governance in Nigeria, the only two standout governors we have seen in Igbo land are Peter Obi and Sulivia Chime. What happened to the rest of them, the educated and the stark illiterate? Why did public acclaim and media honors become more important to Chimoroke Nemani that he suddenly forgot that? He was elected to provide quality governance to the Enugu electorate. How did a U.S. trained medical officer become so rustic that he elected to rule with cultists, cultists, criminals, and armed robbers than seek the company of wise men in leading the state? Why or where did Chimuroke? Namani lost it. Ikedi Oakim was a humble man who never imagined he would one day smell the governor's office at Oweri. When Fortune, however, trust him to the pinnacle of power in his home state, this little known fellow suddenly became an imperial and began to oppress hardworking men and women in Imo. How about Chinwilke? Mbadinu, Mbadinuju? Was he charmed by some cost, cosmic, cosmic forces that he saw no sense in being sensible as a governor? What happened to the land that once produced M. Hai, Opara, and Akano Ibiam? How did we sustain? Substitute Mike Opara's foresight with Okezi Ikpeazu's debauches. How did Imo fall from the Olympia Heights set by D. Sam Mbagwe to the idiocy of Rochas Okorocha? How were Zeke, vision, and wisdom succeeded by the love of psychophancy? That has been has been the hallmark of governance in Ifai, Uguani, Enugu. Could we have offended anyone in Anambra that Peter Obi was directly succeeded by the clueless William Obiano? I am on the conviction that it is about time we began to seek some spiritual understanding to this oddities. How did Okeze Ikpiazu become governor? We can blame the Tedorio Ojis of this world, the Peter Obis and Oji Kalus, for imposing mediocrities on the land. But we must ask how on earth did a 
Diodoria Oji become so powerful that he single single handedly decided who governs a state with more than 2 million adults. Abia today is like a wasteland. Pensioners have not been paid in more than two years. Civil servants are dying of hunger and the youth cannot find labor for their hands. There are no fully functional general hospitals in all of Igbo land and what you have as public school, especially in Abia and Imo State, are legalized centers for exam malpractices and other forms of immorality and drug abuse. In much of these schools, you will hardly find any serious teaching and learning going on. What future awaits a land whose education is in chabums, which education is in has been destroyed? It is unfortunate that many commentators are not paying necessary attention to this because they are largely on the payroll of political elites. How does any drive? How does anyone drive a one hundred million naira Range Rover on Imo roads? Have you become so silly that we have no vision and wisdom to recognize that we must or must make a mess of the white men's invention when we put their machines on these bad roads? The biggest enemies of Indigo today are the political and economic elites in the land. They are the reason we have we have characters like Ikeazu, Ogwang, and Obiano as governors, while Oyo as Sheyi Makinde, who is doing everything possible to reposition Oyo state for glory. So, what are you saying for signing this? This is terrible. We have no one to blame than ourselves. Because when the elites and the traditional rulers that are supposed to caution leaders and hold them to ransom on behalf of the suffering public, of the preferred bribe, what did you expect? We should forget about ESCC until the populace raises up to defend their heritage and demand for accountability at every stage of governance. Things will continue to worsen in the state if we refuse to demand for, a, for accountability at every stage of governance. Okeze Ekpehazu was a single and deadly person chosen and installed governor by all his sons called Chinedu. Our leader, Abia, the opposition politicians, and everybody looked the other way and allowed Abia state to be destroyed. Oji came and looted the state for eight years and handed this looting to his son's friend. Let us stop accusing the federal government of, of marginalization until we purge our government of these criminal leaders destroying Igbo lands. That is it. This is a wage. This is a, a culture's a culture remains one of the best governors, according to what Nigerians, some Nigerians have said, or Nigerians said. It remains the best governor in Nigeria with very many uh, uh, projects to show for it. They said he implemented free education, built schools, built roads, beautiful uh, uh, built Imo cargo airports, Okigwe uh, Stadium, Obuna College of Education. So you cannot come near what Okorocha has achieved in Imo State today in Abia. Yes, there are challenges, but Okiazu is constructing roads 
more than all the other past governors. Is it is controlling those like Isikwe Road, Uruka Road, uh, uh, dualization, Usuru Road, uh, Mileton, and the uh, Obikakia Road? Just finished Ovum Street yesterday. So very many are ongoing projects like that. That is been that uh, okay as have have done. Please, your view is capped. Let him contest in 2020. In 2023, that he's going to win. These are the questions reasonable Igbo brothers should be asking and not clamoring for, clamoring to blame those that are not supposed to be blamed or blame outside forces for their woes. It should not be clamoring. It should not be blaming their hands, they should be dealing with the enemies within before they can clearly and objectively identify outside enemies. Ego leaders are the biggest enemy of ego land. Just look at how messy the orgies, the orgies have drained Abia State. The suspendious amount looted by these leaders is so in inconceivable. And they said Igbos have enemies. Igbos are their enemies. Enemies, Igbos are the enemies in Igbo land. Mine are exactly the same with yours. One thing is sure, which is what Supreme God said in his Bible, the book of Psalm 34, verse 21. So, my dear, wait, wait, you will see how their end will be. Very soon, God will really intervene. We should not judge, but God should be the one to judge. Very, very soon. Oji Uzo Kalu, according to what Nigerians have always wished, they said shortly, they will all be destroyed one after the other. So, the Nigerians doesn't want some governors that have been that are, that have plans to destroy the country to still be alive, especially Buhari that has been there sitting and watching Nigerians being killed every blessed day without doing nothing. I concur, but let's leave a culture out of this. A culture has a big art to succeed. To be honest, it performs credibly well. The problem is, is on, a, on, finish, on finishing desires to transform emo states that made him carry a lot of projects at a time. Rocha, I know that the Rocha is far better than some others in the in the states or in the country. God Almighty would definitely do that wish only him can do in our lives. It's only God that knows those that are pure in hearts and those that are wicked in hearts. So what is your take on this? Drop your comments below. Click on the subscription button. Click on the bell button to receive notifications whenever I publish any new video. And don't forget to like this news and share it as well. Thank you.